The figures are startling. 95% of South Africa's energy is produced by ESCOM. 90% of this generated from coal. And while renewable energy experts say 38% of this is used to drive industry, that in turn makes money for the country, they also agree that there's never been more of a drive towards incorporating renewable energy sources on the grid. Dr. Tembakazi Mali serves as the South African representative on the International Energy Agency, but it is at the South African National Energy Development Institute that Mali actively implements government's national energy targets. One of these is to reduce the energy demand by 12% by 2015. The solar water Giza project of 1 million by 2014 is another. Mali says South Africa is very rarely without sun and so solar energy needs to drive the renewable energy plan. We here in South Africa, we are a serious case for renewable energy, whether we like it or not. We are about the 12th ranked country in terms of carbon emitters. And we also have a real need to decrease our fossil fuel dependency because it is costing us a lot of money. We import crude and that's a lot of money. I'm not saying that we should do away with coal. I'm just saying we need to diversify the energy mix. So what energy sources we're looking at? We're looking at biomass, we're looking at solar, we're looking at wind, we're looking at ocean. Professor Christina Trois from the University of KwaZulu-Natal has been working closely with the Itikwini municipality on its renewable energy programs. In fact, the municipality is home to the only landfill gas to energy project in Africa at Marion Hill, east of Durban. The site has to date generated 48 million rand in revenue. But Trois says much still needs to be done on the waste management system to handle waste correctly before it gets to the site. Just Bizaza alone receives 5,000 tons of general waste per day. So you understand how difficult it is to handle that, that waste. There is a very little separation. More could be done in terms of education. That's very important. That If we want to introduce, say, separated collection, for any of these of this waste to energy uh, technologies to work well, then you need to go down to the grassroots level and explain to people, educate people on how to do things. The discussion was also informed by Gerard Strihip from the Fraunhofer Institute for Solar Energy Systems, Europe's largest solar research body. He provided insight into Germany's plans for going green. The country has set a target to reduce its greenhouse gas emissions by at least 40% by 2020 and to reach between 80 and 95% by 2050. Strihip says currently 25% of Germany's energy demands are covered by renewable energy sources. If we want to increase uh, the share of renewables, the question is which kind of renewables will we use? The benefits are very clear. So what we have to do is we have to combine all these sources in an optimal way. Uh, Wind and solar will be the main sources, uh, renewable energy sources, in the future energy system with a right policy providing the framework conditions it's possible to transform uh, the electricity sector step by step. As I said, 25% are uh, achieved already. The discussions are yet another reminder to industry professionals and local government that as the world gets warmer, countries need to align their national energy strategies by integrating more renewable and cleaner energy systems on the grids. The series will now travel to Johannesburg where it will discuss energy-efficient buildings. Minoshni Pale, SABC News, Durban.